Hello, in this video we will discuss about the humoral immunity and cell mediated immunity. So what is that and what is the difference between them? So let's begin to understand now. So basically is the protection from harmful agent in the environment which that is protect through immunity, immune cell WBC from the person here and this is basically the protective mechanism through WBC is the important for the major survival for the every animal but here we will ju just understand about the human so this is first we will discuss the humoral Im uh, immunity humoral antibody mediated immunity system immune system so the humoral antibody mediated mean humoral depend to the antibody not depend to the cell um, cellular cell mediated immunity so let's begin to understand this is the blood circulatory system and the green color is showing that is the lymphatic system contain lymph node and thymus gland so here is the extracellular agents antigen will enter when into the blood circulatory system so the immune system will be activated and basically this antigen will target to the lung stomach brain and kidney etc this is the example for example and in this way this circulation will target to damage our body but the immune system will hinder these things so this is the dendritic cell which that is uptake the antigen so this is not a humoral uh, antibody mediated immunity but is it is indirectly uh, humoral antibody in, in mediated immunity so in this way the naive T cell will recognize through a dendritic cell when go into the lymphatic system this dendritic cell and after this the proliferation of the naive T cell into the CD4 and CD8 cytotoxic and T helper cell and in this way the T helper cell which that will be helped to uh, recognize this antigen to the B cell and after this B cell here you can see the T helper cell will also go into the circulatory system for recognition of antigen. After this B cell will recognize this antigen through a T helper cell and go into the circulatory system activation and after this activation the B cell will uh, also recognize also detect the antigen from the circulatory system will proliferate into the plasma cell as well as the B memory cell. B memory cell is used for the again infection to quick response while the plasma cell will produce the cytokines also as well as the antibodies. This antibody will collapse the antigen to form a opsonized formation is known as the opsonization. This opsonization will occur after this opsonization this opsonized antigen will damage and this will lead to produce cytokines and this will recruit the basically the endos, uh, neutrophil and macrophage. So also the damaged cell will produce the uh, cytokines which that is recruit the uh, cytokine, uh, recruit the neutrophil and macrophage. Macrophage means the big eater. So in this way the ephrocytosis will be occur after the endocytosis through neutrophil. So in this way the clearance of the antigen will occur the pathogenicity will be decreased due to this immune system. But in this way here is you can see this is the healthy cell and infected cell due to the antigen invasion into the cell. After this invasion due to the this is basically the cellular or cell mediated immunity we will discuss now. That was the humoral and this is the cellular and in this way this damage cell the damaged tissue produce cytokines interleukin 1 to 6 and tumor necrotic factor alpha this is due to the infected cell damaged cell due to the infected cell produce and also the dendritic cell will also recognize through antibody uh, through antigen so we will discuss so it will cytotoxic t cytotoxic t cell cd8 cell activation not cd4 but CD4 also work for the recruitment of the uh, other CD8 but we will just understand and macrophage recruitment these cytokines produce. So in this way the basically you can understand this is the um, uh, cellular cell mediated immunity 
in this way the dendritic cell will uptake the antigen also from the extracellularly not intracellularly to msc class 1 molecule recognized through t cell receptor and in this way the recognition through t cell receptor will activate the t, t cell again the cd8 and cd4 cd4 is used for the helping while the cd8 is used for the killing of the infected cell uh, own infected cell for example our tissue so in this way here is the dendritic cell will go into the blood circulatory system and lymphatic system and in this way the dendritic cell which that will recognize through antigen through msc class 1 molecule after this the t cell receptor will receive and to proliferate the cd8 and cd4 t cell but anyhow let's begin to understand the mechanism so in this way here is the uh, basically is the antigen present infected cell and we recognize and through the msc class 2 molecule show the as an antigen presenting cell the infected cell which that cd8 cd8 cytotoxic t cell which that recognize the antigen and also the cytokines produced from the infected cell and in this way the cd8 produce the perforin this perforin is the channel like protein which that is bind with the infected cell to create a pore this pore is facilitate for the grain enzyme Grain enzyme is released from the CD8 T cell and will enter to, uh, to damage the cell and in this way the opsonization through a cell and in this way here is also cytokine recruit the CD8 4 and macrophage CD8 more and macrophage and monocyte also this is the cytokines and in this way the kill of this known as apoptosis is known as necrosis because this injured cell will be apoptosed due to the CD8 cytotoxic T cell produce the grain enzyme. And in this way, here is also the cytokines inflammatory mediators will produce after the necrosis will lead to recruit the neutrophil and macrophage for engulfing this uh, dead, dead content. And in this way, this is the endocytosis will lead to suicide by hydrolysis. Uh, through a macrophage so this was the quick overview thanks